Hello, this is First Fire Non-Assault Move. Welcome back, gamers, to the third episode of the War in the East series. The second episode took longer than I expected, much longer than I expected, which means we're going to have more of the moves and battles off-camera, and I'll have to tighten up my shot group to be a little quicker during the moves while I'm on camera. The Situation Report... As it stands, we have the northernmost infantry divisions of Army Group North pushing forward, the lonely 8th Panzer Division of 56 Panzer Corps looking to make a river crossing of the Dagava. Connus held out. Vilnius, when we moved the 20th Panzer Division next to it, a disrupted Soviet infantry division fled away and some aircraft took off. So Vilnius was an open city. I was going to leave the 20th there, but I wanted to get the 20th further forward towards Minsk to continue to get that pincer movement going, the northern, northernmost pincer movement going. I don't expect the formations in Connus to retreat into Vilnius, and I don't expect... Soviet formations coming from the east to move west and uh, occupy Vilnius. So I think that's going to stay open for us and these infantry divisions here of our own to secure. Next turn. Moving down, point out that this front here is extremely lightly defended as I shuffled as many infantry divisions to the east on the both on the north perimeter of this pocket we're forming and on the southern uh, perimeter of the pocket we're forming. We haven't moved any of the Panzer divisions here or motorized divisions to establish the southern pincer arm that we're establishing around Minsk. And we attacked with all our infantry divisions on Army Group South's front. We still have the 31st Panzer Divisions on the trains. They'll have to detrain shortly, which we'll do. We have one Panzer, Divi Panzer Corps here, the 14th Panzer Corps. We have another here, the 3rd Panzer Corps. And we have another up here. Where are we? The 36 Panzer Corps. And lastly, the 24th Panzer Corps. These are all going south. Unfortunately, you look at 14th Panzer Corps, there are three divisions that unfreeze in one turn. So on turn two, these three divisions will be available. The 16th Panzer Division is not frozen this turn, so I will move it south to contribute to the fight. I'm going to assign it to a different headquarters because I don't want it to be out of command and control, out of supply, because its parent has its current headquarters will be all the way up here. And I will do the same thing with this motorized division, the 16th motorized, which also is frozen, and there's one more that's frozen. The 25th motorized division is frozen. So if they happen to... I'm, I'm anticipating their headquarters is going to be down here as we start punching a hole through the Russian front in the south, that the headquarters is going to be out of uh, range, out of five out of the five hex range of the motorized division. So I'm going to be doing some admin moves to assign them to new headquarters. All right, so we'll go up here and we'll start attacking with the Panzer divisions forming the southernmost pincer.
Looks like we're going to be able to cross this minor river. Excellent. Routed. It's going to get tougher sledding. What do we have there? Hmm. We know there's at least one rifle division. It's, it's, it's fresh. I don't think it's fortified. There's no forts here. It's in a town. We're going to wait. Come all the way back. And bring the headquarters up. To at least there. Now you can see. We have these three divisions now out of command and control, highlighted in red. So we're going to start moving those up. We'll move this motorized first. Get it across the river. Continue the attack towards Minsk. Do we have enough for a dedicated? No, we don't. All right, here goes. Excellent. With that, push forward. So far, so good. Twenty ninth motorized doing a really good job. That's all the, the movement that the 18th Panzer could do. Pretty good, though. How many miles is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 170 miles into enemy territory the first week. Not bad. Still in supply. Got some movement left. Let's take on some Russian tanks here. Ooh, a mechanized corps and a tank division. Let's see how we do. Wow. 4,000 men, 42 tanks they lost. We lost one AFE. Not bad at all. I think that's just about all the 17th Panzer is going to be able to do. I don't anticipate any Soviet counterattacks from the south. And I believe they are all going to be fleeing east at this point. I think our biggest concern is all these untouched Soviet formations fleeing east that are going to rub against the inner the inner line of the pincer movement. So we want to get a little coverage. So ideally we don't have this supply line cut. That's very important. It would have been great to take Brest -Litov Litovsk, but they have Two rifle divisions and a tank division in a city, and I just don't have the combat power to dislodge them. What is left for... Alright. Mm. Start forming. Very unlikely that these three divisions are going to move north. We're going to leave that uncovered just to start forming the corridor here. Uh, keep it on the rail line. Stay in supply. I'm going to reattach this infantry division uh, down the road, but we'll, we'll still keep it under the 37th Panzer Corps command and control. Whew. 
Ooh, boy. I'm questioning now if I am going to commit the 21st Panzer Corps South. Because looking at it now, we only have. Ouch. What is this? 24th? We have something on the 24th? Oh, yeah, the cavalry. As it stands now, we have just one Panzer Corps racing ahead along the southern arm of the pincer movement. Whew. I really wanted to send the 24th south. I don't know if it will be overkill. Because right now we have one extra Panzer Corps we took from the north, Army Group North. The 14th Panzer Corps could be committed to Army Group Center or Army Group South. It's going to go to Army Group South. The 37th, 36th Panzer Corps is, is postured to, to support Army Group Center, but we're going to send it south. Mm. It's, it's huge because if, I, if we start sending... 24th Panzer Corps if we commit 24th Panzer Corps to Army Group Center then we're not going to have it for the duration of 1941 because there's no way we're going to get it back to support Army Group South do we have enough to execute my alternate history plan oh boy let's see how it looks let's start doing some army group south moves and we'll see how it looks let's start off with 14th panzer the plan is to go through the middle of this corridor that's been formed by the the hard-working underappreciated infantry divisions they've done incredible work getting this far and pushing through a very stubborn Soviet line and the formation density is greater in the south than it is with Army Group Center and Army Group North. Army Group North looks like it's wide open but that quickly quickly changes as formations are rushed rushed to the front and in almost no time there are layers of Russian divisions lined up to defend Leningrad. All right, a little bit of a disruption. Sorry about that. All right, 14th, let's start moving you. Let's get a tank battle right off the bat. Oh, all right. Are they fortified? Doesn't look it. Right there, when we hover over, it says Fort 2, 10%. So that indicates, obviously, that there are fortifications in that hex that the Soviets are using. No fortification, fortification there, and none here it's gonna be a straight up mono a mono let's do it let's dedicate dedicated ooh reserves were committed that's cool you can up here it shows you the participants in that attack all right we got a retreat not bad we still have tons of ammo and fuel let's do another de dedicated these tank divisions these soviet tank divisions have to be moved out of the way and or destroyed yes look at air command 16 type i-16s contributed to the defense it seems like we roughed them up a little bit the status this 
the 34th Tank Division seems still in good order. All right, before we move the 14th anymore, let's bring in its Brethren Divisions. And we're going to move the core up to at least here. If the Russians move against up adjacent to a headquarters that's by itself in the hex, then um, it's overrun and it has to reset somewhere else. So we don't want that to happen. So you always stack a headquarters with a normal formation. All right. 13th Panzer Division. Let's go help out. See what we can do. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's because I have that selected as well. <laughs> All right, we have to start causing losses and rough, roughing up these Soviet tank divisions. Gonna do a hasty. 18 AFEs against our six. Rough in a town. No, I don't want to mess with this infantry division, so we're going to attack the tanks up here. Routed! 35 Russian tanks destroyed to our zero losses. Four tanks were damaged, though. Not bad. Okay, we're going to keep you there as well. The other division that's part of 3rd Panzer Corps, which we pointed out, is frozen. So that's all for 3rd right now. We are going to attach the 16th Panzer Division to the 3rd. So let's see how far it can get. We'll head south to start widening our slice through the Soviet lines. Oh boy. Yeah. Army Group South faced, I think, the heavy, heaviest concentration of Soviet forces. Do we have a time for a... Yep, we have the capacity to do a dedicated attack. Oh, that didn't... Oh, 113 tanks destroyed. That was very favorable. Excellent. So we're getting there. We're starting to reach headquarters past the the initial... Well, here was the front, and here were some reserves, some operational reserves the Soviets had staged, and considerable ones as well. We've already encountered three or four tank divisions, a mechanized corps, and some pretty sturdy infantry divisions that are ready to defend Whew. yeah these mechanized divisions really defend well it's a nice com combined arms uh, formation that that can attack and defend very well very balanced unit all right let's Stay there right now with 3rd Panzer Corps and start bringing in some more forces. All right. Here goes. See how far we can reach with 36 Panzer Corps. I don't have the... It, it wouldn't benefit anything to, to rail because we just move, get on the rail, rail down here, detrain... We have 42, we still have 42 movement uh, points left, even just reaching the front. So not training and detraining, that's, that's not the way to go. We're just going to move. The further we get in though, oh, those precious movement factors disappear. All right, we 
Do we widen or do we go deeper? Let's push deeper. Das Reich, second SS Panzer Division. <laughs> More layers to get through. The way I see this, I'm starting to think I'm going to take that second, that final Panzer Corps and go south. There's just so many Soviet formations down here. All right, can the headquarters get close enough? Where would you end up? All right, let's bring in the last ones. Gross Deutschland. Oh, this becomes a magnificent, full-fledged Panzer Division at one point. Creme, creme de la creme. Just as it becomes, it was equally equipped. All the bells and whistles and all the the new toys, just as the SS Panzer Divisions received. Great history around Gross Deutschland. Can only go here so and it's only a regiment so it is going to be assigned perimeter defense up here and one left the 10th panzer division Ooh, 17 all right I don't like the look of that Soviet tank division, and we've already roughed it up a little bit, I think. Oh boy, there's two there. <laughs> nope, there's a rifle and a tank, an 8-8. Oh boy, we're going to dedicate. Wow, fantastic. Fantastic result. A route and a retreat. 93 Russian tanks destroyed to R3. That is good. No, it's not worth it. We don't need to, to go north here. We want to penetrate in a south and easterly direction. The reason for that, depending how the battle unfolds, once these formations unfreeze, we could look to encircle whatever the Russians leave here. I think it's kind of about a, a little. It's kind of ash and trash formations. I don't think we're going to net anything really significant. Every formation destroyed in an encirclement is 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 great, but we, the bang for the buck. I don't think we want to dedicate uh, formations to an encirclement. It would probably be around what Proskorov. That would be the likely place we could meet up but these soviet divisions are going to be streaming streaming east so we're not going to catch as many as we'd like we start to break out and get freedom of maneuver by turn two or three and that's when we can start looking at uh, legitimate uh, opportunities for encirclement all right we leave anybody behind? No. Let's see <laughs> how far we can get with these. Pans of the divisions that are riding the train they're riding the rail lines. Alright. Select one. Ouch. <laughs> Twenty miles off the railhead. Well, They'll be ready to rock and roll on turn two, which would be week two. 
we'll just move these together here. All right, they detrained, and we have one left. The fourth Panzer um, SS Totenkopf was the third SS Panzer division. All right, and you can detrain oh, a little farther. All right. Oh boy, we didn't get far. We really didn't get far. It's because Army Group Souths, the way the uh, the Panzer Corps were arrayed, not really favor favorable to get a real jump start on turn one, week one. So we haven't gone very far in relation to Army Group Center and Army Group North. And don't want to get discouraged. Like we were talking about in the first video that there is this narrow, narrow uh, section of the front bordered by the mountain range and the Pripyat. So freedom of maneuver for the, all the Panzer Corps is not going to really start until post uh, east of Tarnopol and Proskorov. So this is initial stages. This is a shaping operation to drive that wedge in and start getting some wiggle room for the Panzer Divisions. But you can't complain. Good results. None of the Soviet formations held. And we did some hasty attacks there. So that's encouraging. Good news. Glass half full. All right. Let's move over here. Do we do it? I'm going to have to think about this. I'll get back to you. All right, I thought about it. I just cannot leave the 37th Panzer Corps all by itself. It's just asking too much of that one Panzer Corps to link up. But still, there's a lot of land to cover, and what is it? One, two, three. Twenty-fourth Panzer Corps has well, we have that's quite a bit actually. One, two, three, four, five, five divisions to work with. Three of them motorized, two Panzer and one motorized. All right, we're gonna we have to do it. We have to go and Army Group Center's way. So it looks like we'll net whatever is in here. Which, you know, it's nothing to sneeze at. It's not the best. A lot of ash and trash. Some security, garrison troops, security, garrison troops. Um, well, it's better to destroy them in an encirclement than fight them head on. So we're going to carry on and move up let's i don't even think i can get there oh sorry army group south i just couldn't just can't do it. See, we can't even get that far either. But they have to be here for turn two and to seal off. Expending fuel. Have plenty of ammo. No losses incurred. Just grabbing land. Ah, I made a mistake there. I didn't want to move the whole stack. I wanted to do them individual. Uh, that's unfortunate, but that's all right. We will come up here, and we'll be well within five for the divisions within that core. We got a little bit of juice left. 
Let's attack. Route. Only 15, but that's good. Another formation out of the way in front of us. Uh, one, two, three, four. We can go there. Still be in supply. Yep. And one, two, three, four, five. We'll go up here. All right. That was that move. Ooh, let's look at it. Let's see how it looks. Zooming out. How it's forming. So this is what we're looking at. Going to net 10, maybe 15 divisions, formations. A lot of them will be, not a lot, but they'll be more than we would like of regiments and border garrisons. That's all right. Better than nothing. And we are going to be right outside of Minsk, which is not bad for turn two. Second week of the war, we should be able to secure Minsk. And if we zoom out even further, gives you an idea. <laughs> Still a long way to go to Moscow. A long way to go. But what will the Russians do? They are going to start defending, start moving formations along the Dnieper and along these rivers. They'll defend these rivers ferociously. And what do we have to look forward to after Minsk? A lot of woods, rivers, swamps, a lot of swamps. It's going to be a slog. So, sorry, 24th Panzer Corps. The train's not going to be as nice as if I had sent you south. Who do we have left? All right, I see that the incredible 11th Panzer Division, the Ghost Division, later commanded by Hermann Balk, one of the most brilliant, accomplished divisional commanders you're going to find in the Wehrmacht at the time. Equivalent, I think, to von, um, von Manstein at, at his level as far as capability. He was widely recognized as commanding the 11th Panzer Division during uh, sealing gaps, responding, appearing ev everywhere and anywhere. The Ghost Division, 11th Panzer Division. All right, where are we going to do? How can we div do you justice? 11th Panzer Division. Well, I don't think it's going to be very glamorous this first turn. Let's move you as far forward as we can here. All right, and here is 38th Panzer Corps. We're going to have a... Did we neglect you? Ah, uh, not so much. Let's bring the 57th Infantry as far as we can here. At the beginning of the war, there are some infantry divisions that are attached to the Panzer Corps. I like to reassign them as soon as possible, but right now we'll we'll do that off camera. And let's get the headquarters all the way down here. And we're going to reassign the 16th motorized temporarily. It uses up precious admin points, but we're going to have to do it because I don't want them out of supply the next turn because they are frozen if we zoom out these three divisions are also frozen and there were two motorized frozen and frozen so I th believe we have moved 
every single Panzer Division that we can. I will off camera look if I can min max any movement here, but it, most likely they're going to remain the same. These counters right here are essentially railroad engineers. They they go uh, behind the go behind the lines and repair rail lines. They are extremely critical to regage the Soviet railroad system so that it is compatible with German railroads, uh, railroad car, uh, cars and engines. So they're very, very, very valuable. You gotta, you got, you have to think carefully which rail lines you're going to repair and that takes some time. We'll do that off camera. We can talk about it a little bit afterwards. I think we are going to call it here a much shorter video. The next one will be, I'm just scrolling around and making sure I didn't miss anything here. These infantry divisions are also frozen. They unfreeze in two turns. So we'll have some rested, fully supplied formations to throw into the mix um, in the next video. So I'll do some cleanup. I'll do a lot of the little admin moves off camera and we will uh, hmm, we'll pro probably start off with the I'll edit the results of the Soviet move so you can see what they uh, are doing in response to the first week of the war uh, or the war on the east great I'm gonna leave it at this and I will see you in the next episode. This is First Fire, Non-Assault Move, out.